Yo, what's up? It's Polo G, and you watching On The Rocks. This piece I got from Icebox, one of the top jewelers that I rock with. I was supposed to have got it by May for my album that I had dropped last year called The Goat, but it's like they had a lot of things. They was backed up on orders from COVID, and I had to wait a little time for it, but when I got it, I was really excited about it because it was just something like I've never had before. I'm just used to getting so much more simple. But this got a lot of diamonds in it, and I feel like this is by far one of my hardest custom pieces. It was a controversial piece too, for sure. Yeah, everybody thinking I'm in the Illuminati. I seen this chain and style when I was in Dubai, and I had sent them a picture of it. Like, I want the chain this style when I was in the mall in Dubai. You know, they got like the jewelry stores in inside the mall. They got Richard Milley stores inside the mall. So I was just browsing around, going from jewelry store to jewelry store. And I seen the chain that was made that style, and I told them, that's how I want the necklace to be. I came up with the idea of putting the goats inside of the necklace pattern, but they came up with a detachable head in the middle. That was their idea. My first piece I ever grabbed was my cap lock. I got this from Treasures up inside of Chicago. And yeah, I, first I got a watch from them. This was right after I signed a deal, not even a month after I signed a deal, I had went and bought a watch from them. And then right after that, I put in an order for this. And the first time I was able to wear it, I picked it up. They had Big Gym in Chicago. It's a big show that they have in Chicago. And that was the first time that I wore it. That chain cost me about 40,000 with the tennis. This chain I got from Wafi, it costed me about like $115,000. Man, it's a 3D cube and it's sitting on a 3D cube. I think it's about six inches long. Wafi responsible for at least about four or five hundred thousand dollars worth of the jewelry that I got. I go to him a lot. That's like the top jeweler I rock with. He always gonna give you a play on the prices, so I'm definitely locked in with him. The first piece he made for me was the memorial piece, and we went on from there. This piece I got made from Wafi too. This is my record label pendant. This is a performance picture of me in the middle. It's supposed to be like the NBA logo, where it got the uh, white gold on one side and the uh, rose gold on the other side. It got the baguette cuts on the outline. And then down the sides of the pendant, it says, Only Dreams Achieve. That's what my label is, Only Dreams Achieve. I'm a basketball fanatic, so even if you listen to my music, like I always got a basketball reference. So that was just a, like a creative thing that I came up with, and I sent that idea to a graphic designer, and he sent me back the logo, and I've been rocking out with it. I got these rings. I just got three rings from Icebox. They supposed to symbolize my albums being like championships for me. My first two albums, the Die Legend and I got the Goat. These both went platinum already and my new album that I got coming out is called Hall of Fame. So and they rushed it just for this interview. I had my sister fly out with them. This really actually my first time having them on and seeing them in person. They feel like a good fit. My Hall of Fame one, though, it feel like it gotta be fitted better, but I, I definitely rock with them. I definitely appreciate Icebox for rushing this for me, too. With my watch collection, like, I just really try to get everything or every different watch brand that I don't have. So slowly but surely, I'll probably end up having every single popular watch ever manufactured. So I really started off with a Rolex. That was my first watch that I ever got, but I ended up trading that in and I went and bought this watch from Wafi with my 1300 chain and he put like big pointers down the side of it it's like a custom one-on-one -on -one watch and yeah I think this a presidential Rolex before I got to that watch I had went and bought this I was searching for this watch for a long time it's like every time that I would check back in on the prices for a jeweler it gave me a new number at first this watch was probably about forty thousand dollars when I first looked into it and when I purchased it I purchased it for about ninety thousand dollars and now it's probably up another 30k but that's really COVID prices because they low on inventory for a lot of stuff so it's hard to get and also the price of gold is going up and then yeah I got this Cartier I got it from Icebox just wanted to get a watch that I know I never really had so and I like the big face it's like almost Richard Milley style and then I went and grabbed this. I got this watch from a Ralph Lauren store. And I had Wafi going and bust it down because you know my name, Polo. So this is never going to increase in value. This is literally just for me. And the Patek Philippe that I got on, I got when my album dropped. 
Yeah, I'm definitely one of the first per people to ever put my face inside of my watch. I got my album cover put inside of my watch with all of my loved ones in there who passed away. And I got the same inside of this memorial piece. So it's like a full set. Uh, future chain that I'm getting, I'm gonna get a new uh, record label chain. I'm gonna get ODA, just the three letters, get a hard ass design for that. Aside from that, I'm gonna definitely get a Hall of Fame chain for my album. I always get a chain for made for my album. I just don't know when yet, because I've been buying so much of that shit, sometimes I've been needing a break. Thank you guys for checking out all my ice, man. I'll see y'all next time.